off some calories so I can have more of that trifle. It's worth it, it's worth it. What's up guys, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a triple berry cheesecake trifle. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably on diets and if you are, you're gonna hate me for this, but everything in moderation and if you're already working out, you deserve a little treat. This is definitely a treat because it's so stinking good. We have a bunch of in-season berries right now and I like to mix it with my raspberry jam, make a cream cheese slash whipped cream frosting that just tastes like cheesecake on a stick it's so good. Layer that with some lady fingers and you have the awesomest trifle you will ever know in your life. So without further ado, let's get started. You'll need some powdered sugar, some softened cream cheese, some heavy whipping cream, vanilla extract, some raspberry jam. Now I made my own. I do have a recipe for this. So if you want a recipe on how to make this your own, just click on the link that popped up at the top. Then I have some berries here, some raspberries, strawberries, and some blackberries. By all means, if you don't like blackberries, you can definitely use blueberries, it's up to you. But I personally think they're way prettier and taste amazing. And last but not least, you're going to need some ladyfinger cookies. Now these are like a biscotti, if I'm even saying that right. And I find them in like the Italian section of my supermarket. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start whipping our heavy cream. Now this cream is really, really cold and I just took my mixing bowl out of the freezer. That helps it whip up to stiff peaks a lot quicker and a lot better. So we're gonna get this mixing until it has stiff peaks. So while our cream is mixing, I'm gonna take all my berries and my raspberry jam and mix it together. Now this is gonna be kinda like the soup of it all that kinda binds everything together. I just made that raspberry jam so it's really warm. If you went and bought your store bought, you're gonna wanna warm it up just a little bit so it's easier to mix and break down. So we're just gonna give this a nice toss and set it aside. All right, we've got stiff peaks. That's what it should look like. You don't wanna take it too far, otherwise you're gonna be turning cream into butter. So now I'm just gently transferring my whipped cream to a bowl so I can store it in the fridge while we work on whipping up our cream cheese. So I went ahead and cleaned out the bowl that I used so that I could still use my standing mixer and changed out my attachments. So now I'm just gonna add my cream cheese to my bowl, make sure it's softened, otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the batuski to try to whip it. <laughs> we just wanna start whipping this up before we add the sugar. So now it's somewhat smooth, it only took about two seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my powdered sugar, or all of it I should say. So I just wanna mix this until it's fully incorporated and really light and creamy. You wanna start slow, otherwise it's gonna poof out of your bowl. And while that's going, you can add your vanilla extract. All right, so that's what you want it to look like, nice and creamy and smooth. All right, so the next step, we're very gently going to fold in our whipped cream into our cream cheese. I do that by just cutting down the center and just folding it over with your spatula. You wanna be careful that you don't go crazy trying to mix it, otherwise you're gonna deflate everything. You'll be undoing the work that you just did. So that's what it should look like. And then you gotta taste it. Oh my good Lord, the best part is this filling. All right, so now the fun part, we get to assemble it. First wash our hands, cause there's spit on my finger. So I decided to film the rest of this in voiceover mode, just so that I could make this trifle as beautiful looking as possible. You can use any trifle dish you have. They're really all shapes and sizes, but mine is just your average one that I got from the grocery store. And the first layer is going to be your lady fingers. You can pile them in any direction you would like to. Just try to make it as even as you can. And then on top of that, you wanna put about a third of your berry mixture in and spread that as evenly as you can. And then on top of the berries, you're gonna add a third of the cream cheese mixture. And you wanna just keep repeating that until you get to the very top. And at the very last layer, I like to leave about an inch around so you can see the berries poking through and just keep the cream cheese mixture around the center. That way it looks decorative. Then you can top it with some whole berries to make it look pretty. And voila, you have the most amazing trifle in the entire world, at least in my opinion. Is she not a beaut? I mean, look how amazing this is. And it's so effortless to make it look this great. But now the worst part is, is we have to stick it in the refrigerator for eight hours. I know, you can't eat it right away, but that's where the magic happens is in the refrigerator because everything melds together and blends all together. It gets those cookies kind of like soggy, but not like soggy in a gross way. It gets them moist enough so that it's like a cake and it's just, everything blends so perfectly and it's so delicious. Now, don't be mad at me. <laughs> I'm not going to test this in front of you and taste it because I'm taking this to an event tomorrow and I'm not gonna dive in and make it look all gross. I wanna take it there and make it look beautiful so that they can dive in. So I won't be taste testing it, but I can guarantee you with every strength in my body that it is knockout delicious. Just trust me. You know I won't steer you wrong, okay? <laughs> and let's face it. 
If I ate everything that I made here on What's For Din, I'd be as big as a brick house. Ow, she's a brick. So as always, the measurements and written instructions are listed in the description box below if you do want to create this recipe. And if you did like, what is with feeling like I got a hair on my lip? Am I growing a mustache? And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe as well as share this video because it helps me out so much when you guys do. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>